I knew you'd come. Somehow I just knew you'd find me. Not knowing where I was or when I was coming back sent you crazy. I kept my spies. Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mark, where I like talking all things music, news stories, and my own personal series, Mark Under the Microscope where I give you an inside look as to who I am as a person through inspirational and motivational vlogging. So if you like things like that, please remember to slash that like button and annihilate that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell. I drop videos like this every Monday and Friday and every day in between. And also leave me comments down below. I love interacting with you guys and I also do subscriber requests. So huge shout out to my subscribers out there. I love you guys because without you, there would be no me and there would be no channel. But I think I've talked enough, so let's just jump straight into these videos. Let's go! Time for the crash throughout the Mr. Madness. This mind numbing tactic has now been a major factor. When you see as monotonous becomes my daily practice. Study the rhyme from front to back till I know it all. It's every adjective, it's every consonant, it's every similar verb, noun that's fortified. It's for the soul, but it's also posed like a fragile mind. Pretty, baby, yes, love, knowledge, I've seen them struggle and survive, that's why I learned the meaning of sacrifice To love someone so much that you put your dreams on the shelf To provide a life for them that you never had for yourself I recall all them nights in deep run, arguments over low funds Roaches inside the dresser but never settle for less of these rappers Speak of progression, there's no good action to sing that this mind boggling and selfishness is all materialistic shit can fix all of your problems and situations And instances of single money does to the soul And money's in it, there's no moral compass But you will mass an amount of wealth and invest in the goals of fixing the temper saving yourself, I can tell you it's fucking hopeless But that would be pessimistic to post a child for contain negativity I will never be no longer am I lost in my thoughts I'm doing the best I can, I have to put myself in their shoes I have to pray to come to mind to judge what someone's been through Or why they act the way they act and do the things that they do It's all perspective, we subject ourselves to different devices And my advice is be decisive with decisions you make Don't be overtly obsessed, find some balance and truth Everything in due time, it's not as bad as you think The frame you're saying things too, just multiply it by two And you'll see your bigger picture than the one you currently view Yes, love Daily, 
I have like these thoughts where I'm like, I'm gonna fucking run my car into this person and run my car into that person. And then I hit the blunt, I don't even give a fuck no more. True, true. Somebody can come through and murder my dog. I don't even have a dog. Somebody can come through and murder my fictitious dog. Michael Vick, the Michael Vick could come and abduct my dog and put him in a dog ring, a dog fighting ring. And if I had my blunt, I wouldn't even give a fuck. But if I didn't have my blunt, <laughs> I would search the ends of the world for Michael Vick and get my motherfucking dog. And I'd do that shit in a heartbeat. My brother's got a dog. It's a big ass, dumb ass pit bull. This thing would be, don't leave it outside. And this thing will sit in the sun all day. It looks like it has stroke. It'll be limping and shit. <laughs> oh, dumb as fuck. <laughs> Such is life. You know? But I'm proud of you. You started smoking weed, probably. That's what's good. <laughs> Bro, it's so much better than drinking. It's so much better than everything. Weed's better than everything. Weed's better than fucking. Weed's better than alcohol. Weed's better than pussy in some certain some instances. <laughs> Depends on what kind of pussy you get. But nine times out of ten, I'll take a blunt over anything. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Where you going? I'm minding my business. Get her in the shop. Get her in the shop. Where you, oh, now you're running away? Now you're going away? Yeah. Yeah, run in your mouth. Don't even want to be on camera. You need to put a weave in your damn head. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Looking a mess. Looking a fucking mess. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about Khan with um, White Lines. And I want to sit there and say that his name that he picked, which is Khan, which stands for Knowledge Above All Nonsense, fits perfectly for his whole personality and his whole sense of style. Because he sits there and puts knowledge and being able to analyze and think critically about situations like you can tell the way that he attacks his songs that he goes into like a whole different headspace and he speaks from an experience that he's trying to sit there and teach the people who are listening to sit there and leave with something to leave with some sort of knowledge and what he's saying and I think that's also what goes within his intricate thinking and his thought process of what he chooses to pick his beats because this was an uh this was an interesting beat choice that he chose to rap to and I never would have thought that you could um honestly rap and flow the way that he sat there and did to this beat but that just shows the insane versatility that Khan has to be able to sit there and murder and rip a beat like that and tear it to shreds like he straight killed that like that was awesome so by far that is like by far like my favorite um Khan song right to date because of the simple fact that that beat it just seems so different and so out there and so eclectic and for him to sit there and go outside of himself and outside his mind and to be able to think intellectually and sit there and get leave the audience with wanting to know more and it also goes in within the cinematography within the video where he's just in a room and he's telling his story and telling um life and speaking of life itself he wants you to walk away knowing something more about him and that is what's so interesting and that's what has me so intrigued and it's like damn mark you've like taken so long to react to another one of his songs and now it's like you get that appreciation when you step away and then you come back and then you start letting a lot of the music digest but then when you sit there and listen back to the artist you're like wow what have i been missing like khan is just such an amazing amazing artist and i cannot wait to react to more of his music i thought that this track was super super dope so let me know in the comments below what you thought of white lines by khan and also, like I end every video out there, please remember to be safe. Remember to stay awesome. Be awesome because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy, Mark, and I'm signing off. Deuces. They need rappers like me. They need rappers like me. So they can get on their fucking keyboards and make me the bad guy, Chung Lee. Hey,